Welcome at E2E Designs. Today I do a little technical quick tip. I like to show you how to set up an HBLP spray gun in under two minutes. At first we need a spray gun and with this gun I like to show you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. That's an HBLP spray gun and it has three knobs. One underneath the gun, the pressure control valve or the cheater valve and these two valves. And let's start with the first one, the pressure control valve or the cheater valve. And if you are not a pro, never touch the cheater valve. Let it full open and that's it. And I like to tell you why. Most of these common guns have no internal pressure gauges. And if you have no internal pressure gauge, you can't see the pressure which is running inside the gun if you use the cheater valve. And that's not so good. If you are a pro, you can listen to your gun and you can hear the sound of the gun and you can control the pressure by listening to the sound. But if you're not a pro, what should you do? You can buy yourself an external pressure gauge like this one, put it underneath the spray gun and use the external pressure control valve. Okay, now we have to set up the pressure. And if you want to know the pressure which is used for your gun, check the data sheet of the gun. And if you don't have a data sheet, I can tell you most of these common spray guns run with two bar, which is around about 29 PSI. So try yourself two bar, 29 PSI. That's good for most of these common spray guns. And to set up the pressure, you have to pull the trigger full open and then set up the pressure to 2 bar or 29 PSI. Two bar, 29 PSI. And I have also another quick tip for you, a pro tip. Never set the pressure on the compressor or the air supplies because you will lose pressure inside the air hose. And if you set up the pressure on the air supplies or the compressor, you will not have the same pressure inside the spray gun. So use every time an external pressure gauge. Never set up the pressure on the air supplies or the compressor. Okay? I will change the gun because I've loaded some color in my other spray gun. And I like to show you the next knob. That's the fan size or the fan size control. And you can control how the spray gun sprays, if it sprays round and small or wide for panels, for car panels. And I like to show you what happens if you set up the fan size. At first, let it closed, close the fan size and try to spray with your spray gun. And what you can do are these little points and these are good for uh, custom painting of bikes or motorbikes for frames or something like that. But what you have to do if you want to paint a car, a door, a panel, a hood or something like that, you have to open the fan size. You have to open as well the, the pressure control, but I like to show you later the pressure needed for an open fan size. So try it first to open the fan, okay, and then try to spray. And that is the result if the fan is opened. That's good for panels and that's good for tubes. Okay, and there's also a third knob and this knob is good to close the fluid tip. There's a needle inside the spray gun and if you close this knob, you press the needle inside the fluid tip and it's blocked. And that's good if you want to spray such points because if it's full opened, I will full open it again I will close the fan size and then let's see what happens. I spray much too much color and I get paint runs like these again. And there will be also paint runs. And to avoid that, you have to close the fluid tip control and you reduce the amount of color running through the gun. Okay, now we try it again. And that is much better. But now we have to set up also the pressure. So you have to decide if you want to spray wide. Sorry, if you want to spray wide with an open fan or closed. So uh, set up the fan you like. And if you have set up the fan, 
You have to set up your pressure also because if you open the fan, you need more pressure and if you close the fan, you need less pressure. And that's the complete magic of such spray guns. And if you want to know more about LVLP spray guns or HVLP spray guns, check my pro video, seven pro tips about these spray guns. And in this video, I show you much more than I can show you in two minutes, but I hope you like this video and I hope it helps you to set up your spray gun Good luck spraying, good luck custom painting, goodbye and see you in one of my next videos.